If you guys want to learn how to make timer doors in Roblox Studio, then watch this video all the way to the end. Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a timer door in Roblox Studio. Let's get into it. So the scripts will be in the description and let's get started. So first, what we want to do is add a folder into workspace and name this to timer doors. So we're going to have multiple timer doors in our game and they're each going to count down on their own. Next, we have to actually make the doors. So insert a new part, anchor it, and make it red to indicate that the player cannot go through it yet. And then scale it to whatever you like. And then I'm going to make it a bit transparent so the player can see what's behind the door. Okay, cool. Next, name this to timer door. And make sure that can clad is true so they will not be able to go through it and drag this into the folder. Next, insert a surface GUI into the part, set the Adorni to the part, and name this to timer GUI. So this is gonna display the time left until the door unlocks. Cool, insert a text label into it, and let's make sure we get the right side, so it is over here. Let's try left, let's try right, right worked. And in the text label, set the size to 1, 0, 1, 0. And this is just going to scale it across the whole thing. Let's make it the background transparent and bring the text up. And that is a bit too big and you can see that it is in low quality. So let's click on the surface GUI and decrease this number a bit down to 10. Cool. And now we can put the text to 0, 0, 0. And I'm going to make a bold and I'm going to just change the way it looks. And let's make it white. Okay, there we go. I just made it look a bit nicer. So now it's a bit clearer and it's a bit smaller. Cool. Next, insert a folder into the part and name this to time left. Time left. Insert a int value into it and name this minutes and duplicate it and name the other one seconds cool so now we have everything inside of our door and i'm just going to make another one and just put it over here and this one is going to be 10 minutes and we'll set this one to 10 seconds just for testing there we go now we actually have to code the doors to do something so insert a script into the folder and name this to server site and get rid of that so now we actually have to use one of my models from our older videos so here it is and i'm just going to grab the script from here copy that paste it into ours and then we can just get rid of it so now i've got the timer function this converts the uh minutes and seconds and it just does all of that so it counts it down we can get rid of this here so next create a variable for the timer doors, so local timer doors is equal to script.parent. Cool. And now we're going to loop through all of the doors and we're going to count down. And when it reaches zero, like this, zero uh, colon zero zero, we are going to unlock the door for the player. Keep in mind, this script is not going to save the player's progress for the doors. So even if they reach zero 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 and they leave the game and rejoin, it's going to restart from the beginning. There will be a separate video on how to make it save. Okay, so now we're going to loop. So 4i comma timer door in pairs timer doors get children. And now this is going to loop through the folder and it needs to only detect doors because it's going to detect the script because it's looping through the folder. So if timer door is a part, which is the doors, then local time left is equal to timer door, wait for child, time left, which is the folder. And then we've got the minutes and seconds. So local minutes is equal to time left wait for child minutes and then we do the same for seconds so i'm just going to copy and paste it seconds and seconds cool so now we can call the timer function so timer minutes dot value comma seconds dot value 
but this script is from my other one so it's saying script.parent.txt because it was in a GUI before but now we have to include the text label so let's add a comma text label oops label there we go and then what we have to do is get this text label here so let's make another variable for that so local text label is equal to timer door wait for child timer gui wait for child text label and then we put it into here text label and then instead of saying script.parent.txt we can use the text label there we go cool so now uh if we play only one of the doors is going to work this one we set to 10 minutes and only this one is counting down and you'll see when it reaches zero nothing is going to happen and we won't be able to go through it so the reason why this door did not count down even though it's got 10 minutes set is because it's calling this function for the first one that it loops through and when this function is happening it doesn't keep looping it's doing this because it's repeating until it reaches zero so once this one reaches zero then this one will start which is not what we want so a simple fix for this is using task.spawn and this will just create the function inside of its own little world so we can do that so if we play you'll see now both are counting down at the same time but you'll see when it reaches zero it still isn't gonna unlock there we go and it is not unlocking because we haven't coded it to yet so to do that at the end of this repeat loop when minutes and seconds is equal to zero then we can just oh sorry here we need to insert the timer door into here timer door then get the timer door in there then we can say timer door dot can collide is false and then we'll make it green to indicate that is that it is unlocked so color is equal to color three dot from rgb and make it green cool so now when we play and wait for the timer to go down three two one there we go so now we can go through it but you see if we click on the server it is unlocked for everyone now what happens if one player joins in the beginning of a server and then multiple people join afterwards it's only going to start counting down from the time when the first player joined and we want it to count down from when you join the game so to fix this we are going to use remote events so let's insert a remote event into replicated storage <coughs> sorry about that and we can call this start event in the server side we need a new variable local start event equal to game get service replicated storage wait for child start event cool so now what we need to do is whenever a player joins the game <coughs> sorry whenever a player joins the game it needs to fire the remote event and then start counting down from whenever they joined so to do this we need another variable for the players local players equal to game get service players cool so now players dot player added connect function and then in brackets we get the player that joined cool so now we have to get the start event and then we fire the client and then we put the player in there oh player cool next what we need is a local script that is going to receive the event so we can just copy this variable and then we say start event the on client event connect function cool so now what we need to do is we need to copy all of this there we go oh i didn't copy it copy all of that then paste it into there or oh, sorry this function goes outside of here and you'll see timer doors is orange which means we need a variable for it so we can just copy this 
and then obviously it's not script or parent it will be workspace way for child timer doors there we go so now if we play now it is only going to be working for us you can see it's counting down if we go to the server it's still at zero that way when someone new joins it's still going to start from the beginning cool so now this one's unlocked only for us and you can see on the server for everyone else it will still be locked so yeah that is it for today's video bye guys